Welcome to Real Life 360. It's that time of day for good news and inspirational topics. Jesus came to give us real life and your real life, your Thursday can be the best that you've ever dreamed of. I'm Amy Schaefer. Coming up, we have a great program. We have an interview with Dane and Kane, and he's also going to sing us a song. But right now, we're going to kick off this show with good news. I'm Sydney Grant for Good News 360, where we bring you stories showing how God is on the move. As revival continues to take root in West Virginia, one ministry is reaching the unreachable. The Vine is using innovative evangelism to show God's love to drug addicts and alcoholics. They hit the streets, sharing the gospel with the lost and the brokenhearted. Volunteers also hand out food and clothing to low-income areas. As well as the street evangelism, the ministry holds weekly Bible studies and mentors young people in their community. The ministry is in the process of providing a drug rehab camp to anyone who wants to break the bondage of addiction. And a blacksmith converted to Christianity after making iron crosses for a church. Balapati Babareo created the sacred symbols for two Christians from a church who stopped in his village in India. When Babareo dropped the crosses off at the church, the pastor shared the gospel with them. As the pastor talked about Jesus, Babareo told God Reports he understood the meaning of the crosses he fashioned in the fire. From that moment on, Babareo was set on fire for God. He's been evangelizing villages and starting churches, and he has led more than 1,200 people to Christ. And if you're in some need of vacation ideas, check this out. Argentina has its own rendition of a Christian Disneyland. At Tierra Santa in Buenos Aires, everything is about Jesus. There's interactive crucifixions and daily resurrections at the theme park. The park is a reproduction of ancient Jerusalem, focusing on disparate aspects of Jesus' life. Tierra Santa, which means Holy Land in Spanish, is the first of its kind theme park in South America. It opened back in 2000 when Pope Francis was still the Archbishop of Buenos Aires. That's all for Good News 360. Have a great day on purpose. Good news, that's what we're all about here at the Good News Television Station and Real Life 360. I'm here with Jay. Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you again. We were just talking about Samson because yeah. we both went and saw that that Samson production is quite magnificent. It really is. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out. It will blow your mind. If you've never been to Sight and Sound, the first time I went was actually with Cornerstone on one of the trips, which let me throw this little plug in there. <laughs> if they've got trips going on, they are five star. It is a great time. Get involved. But it was a great show. Yeah. Um, we had a wonderful time and uh, it was just amazing. All the theatricals. They used the whole auditorium and everything. Uh -huh. Wasn't it great? It feels like you're a part of the story. Yeah. It's incredible. So I, I was thinking about Samson and that idea of strength and the script kind of came in my heart and, and I believe it will encourage you that the Lord does not grow tired or weary that he gives strength to the weary Jay and that he increases the power of the weak even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble but those who hope in the Lord will Amen. renew their strength man Amen. we can actually go through life with the strength of God on our lives that's right you know what's unique is Samson you know people think what's the big deal about getting a haircut <laughs> everybody does it. Right. But you know, if we, we live in a day and hour where everybody wants to do what everybody else does. Yeah. But the reason why Samson had his strength was because of his Nazarite vow, mm -hmm. his covenant with God. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and many times, some of you in your homes, you may say, why do I have to do certain things? Why do I have mm -hmm. to live for God? Why, why can't I do what everybody else does? If you do what everybody else does, you get what everybody else has. Mm -hmm. But when you do what the Word of God says, yeah we get the blessing. And that's why Samson had the strength that he had yeah. is because of his covenant with God. Well, and one of my favorite core scriptures, I can do all things through Christ through who strengthens Christ. me. Amen. Like we have to know that it's Christ who strengthens us and he equips us for certain tasks to do in life. Amen. You know, somebody might look at, at us, say, how do you pastor and do this and have kids? And how, how do you balance it all? Guess what? It is Christ that strengthens us Amen. and equips us for that job that he's asked us to do. Amen. It's his grace. You know, yes. I like the scripture, even where Paul was beseeching the Lord saying, remove this thorn, remove this thorn. He said, my grace is shown most effective in your weakness. Your weakness. You know, so it's amazing. That's why God calls us. Yeah. We can't do it in of ourselves. No. But under his strength and under his ability, we can do all things yeah. through Christ. I'm just thinking about, you know, you might be watching and you might feel tired, weary, worn out, just burned out on life and just feel like I don't have strength to make it another day. But I wanted to say, yes, you can. We have to tap in not to our strength, but tap into his strength. And how do we get God's strength in our, in our lives, Jay? 
we're not using that passage of scripture, there's four seasons in there. Mm -hmm. It says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings like an eagle, mm -hmm. run and not grow weary, walk, walk and not faint. So there's right. walking, mm -hmm. there's running, mm -hmm. there's soaring. And if you're out of strength, there's waiting. Yeah. Many times you have to be like Mary who sat at the feet of Jesus Amen. and just sit at his feet, listen to him, listen for his words, receive his strength today. And then you can go and be Martha. If you're burnt out and tired and complaining and upset because nobody's helping you, it's because you need to take some time and get alone and sit at the master's feet. Don't be so busy about the work of the Lord right. that you forget about the Lord of the work. Right, right. And, and there's nothing like when you're spending time with the Lord in his presence, in his word. And what about t turning on worship music? Amen. You know, we have an interview coming up with Dane and Kane, and his heart is all about music and connecting with God and connecting people to God. When you sit in worship That's right. That's right. and in his presence and in his word, strength, God's supernatural ability floods into your life. You can't do this life on your own. We need God's help. And we don't even have to do anything. Just yeah. put on the worship music and just sit. Yes. You know, just, yes. you know, one of the things we do with our sons, even though they're only two and seven months, the first thing they do <laughs> is when we get up in the morning, we put on worship music. Yep. And while they're eating, we worship <laughs> with them and we yeah. spend time with them. And it just fills our home with the presence of God. And then you, so it just changes awesome. your whole day changes. when you can absorb that presence like that. That's right. Music changes the atmosphere. Yes, time with God changes the atmosphere and changes your life. Man, listen, we are here to pray for you. If you need anything, this is isn't just you're watching us. It's like we want to connect with you. We have prayer partners that are really the heartbeat of this ministry. They're waiting to hear from you. Give us a call at 888-665-4483. Man, we'd, we'd love to connect with you. Listen, don't go away. We'll be right back with music and a great interview. Take me out to the block party. Take me out for the shows. For it's one, two, three special shows on the old block party. You've got that right. With comedy, music, and more, this Saturday from 6 to 9 on the Cornerstone, Cornerstone block, block Party. Hello, I'm Pat Williams. Come explore with me the calling. Here's the latest with Cornerstone Cares, our outreach network reflecting God's love in action. Do you have a desire to spread the gospel? Come with Cornerstone Cares to Mexico. This fall, we're taking a mission trip to San Luis. From October 28th to November 5th, the team will show God's love to communities, recovery centers, and the town's local prison. Be a part of an evangelism team that will build the body of Christ physically and spiritually. For additional information, email us at info at ctvn.org. Come join us and be a part of God's kingdom in action. Wow, Cornerstone Cares. I love that. Jay, how about you can actually go on a trip with the Cornerstone family? You know, Cornerstone's got a lot of great things going on. And what's really awesome is that they really are the hands and feet of Jesus reaching out. You know, we can't just be concerned about ourselves. And Cornerstone isn't concerned just about their network and just mm -hmm. the gospel going across. It's about taking the gospel outside of these four walls right. and going and being a blessing wherever it is. And as you just saw up there, there's awesome things that are going on. Yeah, and you might say, you know, I can't go, but I'd love to give. I'd love to send somebody else. That is awesome too. And that actually changes lives. There's those who go those who send. But guess what? If we'll each just do what God has asked us to do, that's how we can make a powerful difference. Amen. And by sowing seed, then the Bible says that God said, Paul wrote to the church of Philippi and says, I will supply all your needs yep. according to his riches and glory. So don't forget to tuck in a love gift and be a blessing to Cornerstone Cares today. We love our Cornerstone family. Well, listen, all the way from Appleton, Wisconsin. That's a cool city, Appleton. Dane and Kane has been gifted by God to create music. And he here is Dane and Kane and his band singing No Words. You were faithful. 
You are strong, even when the world is burning to the ground. You are always in control, even in the midst of all the broken homes. You were waiting for me to rise. You were waiting for me, you're coming for me. You were burning up alive, even when I couldn't feel you moving. Oh, oh, oh. Your desire and your goodness are the same. You were waiting for me to rise. You were waiting for me to come and for me. You were burning up alive, even when I could feel you moving. Oh, 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 even when I could feel you moving. Oh, oh, oh. That was awesome. Thank it's so great much. to have you here today, Danan. Thank yes. you so much. So how did that song come about? Uh, I've been, been going through kind of a, a difficult season of life, an extended period of life. And I, I looked at the Bible and I looked at people like Job and I looked at people like Paul and David and they all seem to go through seasons of, 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 of kind of questioning why are the things in life happening the way that they are and crying out to God. And I think sometimes we, we think that if we're going through a season like that, we might be doing something wrong. And sometimes he could be, you know, uh, reprimanding us and guiding us. But sometimes I think he tests our faith to say, are we going to say that he's good because of who he is? Or are we just going to say he's good because he's blessing us? Is our worship based on his character or is it based on, are we getting what we want? And so I, I've been going through a season where he's been testing my faith of, am I still going to say he's good even though life hasn't turned out exactly the way that I wanted Our it to? Plan. Yeah. I want my plan. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. Like, what's going on? Lord? <laughs> but that's powerful. So that's on your newest track, yeah. which is? Uh, the album's called Flesh and Soul, and that, call, that song is called No Words. Okay, yeah. and we will have 
Danan's information on our website so that way you can get to his CD and you also do uh, your venues at churches so I just want to put that plug in there. Oh yeah. Absolutely. A church will be interested in having Danan and his group. They would love to connect with you through the internet. Excuse yeah. me, how you do most of your yeah, connections? I'm, I'm completely independent, so okay. I do all my own booking, and you can just find my website, daneandkane.com, and email me, and Very it comes good. right to me. And we will put that on ctvn.org for you to be able to connect with him. Well, you have to tell us your story. How in the world <laughs> did the basketball player through high school end up playing guitar and traveling in a band? Yeah, I, I grew up in a, a small town. Uh, didn't really have much access to learn a musical instrument. I always kind of was curious about it. But mm -hmm. growing up, I was completely into sports, uh, specifically basketball. I'm 5'7", 100 nothing, so I don't look like a <laughs> basketball player. But I ended up playing in college a little bit. And mm -hmm. uh, it was when I got into college, uh, that's when I really felt like I really needed to take a step forward in my faith. And I, I started to meet other people my own age, really, um, that were serious about Christ and the Bible. And, and so I, I decided to... Uh, get involved with a campus ministry called Campus Crusade for Christ. Yes, and that's that when I uh, picked up guitar and kind of learned it. And, uh, and uh, uh, it was kind of weird. It just kind of, I, I really picked up guitar just to learn a few chords, to learn some worship songs, to lead worship in a Bible study. And wow. within a year, I had my first independent album out. It was just kind of crazy. It was a God thing. It definitely thing. was a I God thing. I was like, thing. that is an amazing story. Thank you, yeah. Well, you also have another story that, you know, so many people going through transitions in life, you know, and you were talking about your overcoming through depression. Yeah. So I know that we have so many viewers. You know, it's something that I believe the enemy just puts upon us really to keep us from fulfilling God's call in our life. Sure. So I want to hear your story and I know it'll encourage our viewers. Yeah, um, depression's kind of one of those difficult animals to talk about because it looks different for everybody. There's a bunch of different degrees and causes. It's physiological, it's spiritual, it's circumstantial. There's a lot of different aspects to it, but I can, I can only speak to mine and that's been kind of this uh, sadness, this, uh, this brokenness that's kind of filled uh, filled me ever since I was a little kid. And, and I used to look at it as like there was something wrong with me. I, I used to be very ashamed to speak about it, and I thought it was weak and all these different things. But I've kind of looked at it in a little different way. In, in a lot of ways, my, my struggle with depression has has caused me more than anything else to, to go to the foot of the cross every single day and mm -hmm. say, God, I need you. Mm -hmm. I need you to make it through this day. I need you to make it through because my emotions are not agreeing with me right now. And, uh, you know, I think we live in a culture that's obsessed with happiness and they'll do anything that they can to taste it for just a that's little right. bit. And I feel like um, I feel like the point of worship from a, from a Christian perspective, the Bible, is to worship God. And that means on the, on the mountaintop or the valley floor right. to say that you are good, you are worthy, you're going to get me through this. And, and so for me, it, it's just kind of been a little bit of that thorn in the flesh of, okay, I've, I've prayed to get it delivered. It hasn't. It's still here. What do I do now? And what I'm going to do now is say that you're good, that you're faithful, and that you're going to get through you're going to get me through this every moment of every day. That's right. You're walking in victory in the <laughs> midst right. of a storm. Amen. And I think there's so many uh, people who that would minister to. Would you be willing to just pray for them? You can look right into the camera and just speak to our viewers. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, I would just like you to know that you are, you are not forgotten today. You. That God has not forgotten about you and that he is with you in the brokenness and the sadness and in the storm and in the valley. Lord, I just pray for the viewer out there that really is hurting and is lost and does not know where to turn next. I pray, God, that you would reveal yourself to them, reveal your plan, that you have a plan for them. When you made them, you said that they were beautiful, that they, were, that they had a purpose upon their heart, that there is something unique in them that, that can worship you like no one else can. You said that you, they were good when you finished forming them. Lord, I pray that you would love on them in this moment, that they would know that they would know that they are loved by the, the very God who, who spoke the universe into existence. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would be near them, guide them, deliver them, speak to them, and love on them today. In Thank Jesus' you. name, amen. Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer with Danan, I almost forgot your name. <laughs> Praise right. God. 
we want you to call us at 888-665-4483. We're here to agree with you. And we also have a teaching sheet on stopping fear, panic, and depression that we would love for you to ask for so that you have the Word of God to put before you and overcome and have the victory that Jesus has provided for you. And don't forget, if you would like to connect with Dana and his group, please go to ctvn.org and get his website there. And we want to make sure to make your music known and that God does everything through you that he has ordained. Amen. Thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much God for having me. It really is an honor. So thank Amen. you. Amen. On average, Cornerstone receives over 300 phone calls a day, 24-7. But have you ever wondered what happens to your prayer request after you hang up the phone? On Real Life, we pray for every call, whether it's mentioned on air or not. And we even pray for them during our weekly chapel. Then we lay hands on your request and anoint it with oil, believing for your miracle. As Jesus tells us in Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. If you need prayer at any time, call us. We would love to pray with you. Hey ladies, I have some great news for you. The women of the Cornerstone team have joined together to make a special journal just for you. It's the Cornerstone Take 10 Journal. It's a 21 day prayer journal designed to help us all grow as women of God. Each day begins with 10 minutes of inspiration, life coaching, encouragement, and journal time. May Partners, call today with your gift to the ministry for this brand new devotional written by the women of Cornerstone for the women in your life. Well, we're back to pray and to believe God with you. I, uh, Amy, I like the idea of praying on, on, on the program. Yes. <laughs> can, can you think of it, can I open up the whole panel. Can you guys think of any other television program that does Praise. this kind of mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. I know 700 Club does right. prayer. Right, and James Robinson's his, they pray. Where people call in and... Oh, and, I, I don't know. Well, I know everybody prays. Now right. I'm talking about That's connecting to people that are right, right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we love to do is we actually like to connect with the people, Amen. with the, the family, mm -hmm. the viewers that are watching. And that's one way is that they get to call in and we get to pray. Absolutely. And you know what? I don't know about you guys, but sometimes those uh, prayer requests stick with me all throughout the week, even though we leave them here and... Uh, put them in the prayer room and the staff pray. I, I, yeah. They hang with me and mm -hmm. I think of them often and pray for them a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. Because that's the spirit who's put that, that person's need in your heart. Well, I'm, for myself, I'm always curious, like what happens? You know, you yeah. pray for someone and I wish that you all would call us and let us know a yeah. praise report yeah. because we pray and, mm -hmm. and as Amy said, you know, we think about you and we wonder about your circumstances and we keep praying for you yeah. and we want to hear what God's doing in your right. life because right. God is faithful mm -hmm. and he is a just God and he hears and he mm -hmm. listens to our prayers right. and so he's he watching is. out for you. Yeah. Well, it's a real privilege. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I would... Pastor Jay and I were just talking, you know, these are pieces of paper, but these are not really pieces of paper. That's right. Amen. These represent people. people and That's right. Each person mm -hmm. represents a family, which mm -hmm. represents a community, which represents the yeah. area mm -hmm. and the nation. Yeah. And when, when God moves, he moves through people. That's right. Two families, mm -hmm. two churches in the community, to the nation. That's right. We know, and it shows how much Cornerstone values people mm -hmm. because it's important enough for them to call in. Mm -hmm. So it's important enough for Cornerstone to take the time to minister to their needs. And yeah. I think it says a lot about how much Cornerstone as a whole values the people. Mm -hmm. It has always been that way, brother. It, 37 years, Russ and Norma Bixler launched this television ministry with that heart for people. Amen. And you know, may we never lose Amen. that passion mm -hmm. and, and, and know that we're just a vessel of the Holy Spirit. Right. You know, Absolutely. none of us have any uh, supernatural s tricks. Mm -hmm. We're just vessels of God's Holy Spirit and we, we connect with you through the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we're glad that you're watching, Amen. glad that you're part of our family. What were you gonna well, say? Well, I was gonna say one thing that reminds me about Miss Norma especially is obedience. 
You know, she just knew that she was there and she was going to pray. And she prayed for people wherever she was. Amen. In the store, wow. here in the, stu in the studio with prayer requests, wherever she went, she just obeyed God, yeah. you know. Well, mm -hmm. Stephanie called. Let's get mm -hmm. right into it. Stephanie needed a job really bad. She called for prayer. That's what we're talking about that. And guess what? Two days later, wow. <laughs> she Amen. got a job. Yay. Amen. She, Congratulations. Uh, Thank she you, God. She reports to her department at the end of the month, end of May. Wonderful. And her faith is strengthened. I guess so, Stephanie. Yes. You know, whenever God answers our prayer, the Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. That's but right. The, uh, the promise <laughs> realized is the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a Amen. tree of life, you know. And uh, Jay, what, what prayer request do you have? Well, Martha here, it seems like there's been a constant when I've been on here lately dealing with fear. Mm. Yeah. Martha's asked for deliverance from fear. She's been getting panic attacks and wants a closer mm. walk with the Lord. Amen. I believe there's an anointing in this season to destroy yes. uh, the spirit of fear Amen. because God's Amen. ready to take his people to All a deeper right. place. Pull it down in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, along with that, um, a, a woman called for her great-granddaughter, Lauren, who's 13 years old. She is cutting herself mm. and says that she is hearing voices oh, inside. God. So we just pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. We just yes, break yes, that yes, bondage yes, and we yes, thank Father. you, God, that you are a deliverer yes. and you set this young lady free. Lauren, we thank you, God, for setting her free in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Did you have one? Amy? I do. A little tickle in my throat. Um, Mary Jane called for healing for her whole body and a closer walk with Jesus. Oh man, just a closer walk with him. There's nothing like walking and building a real relationship Amen. with Jesus. That's right. Well, Olivia called about her fiance, relationship with her, doesn't know whether to break up, I guess, with him or not. Uh, and Olivia is not a Christian. Well, Olivia, listen, the first things first. Let's get first things first. Come into a relationship with your Father God so that you can get on the path He has for you. I wouldn't consider marrying anybody until you get right with God, and then I wouldn't marry anybody until they got right with God. <laughs> because how are you going to build a family together? How are you going to walk together through these <laughs> difficult times right. if you don't have that common That's denominator? Right. Yeah. Come to know Jesus. Call us. We'll tell you how that yeah. is simple. Yes. And then follow up with right. decision making. Get the foundation before you try to build the building. Otherwise, it's yep. all going to fall down all around you. Right. Jay, what's up next? Mm -hmm. Well, coming up next here on Cornerstone Network, join the hard questions panel as they ask, is there anything that can hinder my prayers? Should I believe in generational curses? And what is the unpardonable sin? Ooh, good question. Well, hey, Ooh, heavy. Let's, let's close in prayer. Father, we thank yes. you for your anointing of your mm -hmm. spirit. God, go out right now, Holy Spirit, we pray. And we send our angels out too and accomplish in these lives that which you choose to accomplish. God, thank you for healing, deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Be free. Amen. Walk in the power of the Spirit. Learn that He loves you and know that He has a plan for you. We love you. And we thank you that you're part of our family. We'll see you on Real Life. Stone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.